cook farfalle pasta and broccoli together. Then make a quick sauce of sauteed garlic, anchovies, and red pepper flakes. It's not nearly as intense as it sounds. The flavors are warm and natural. Toss together and serve. Farfalle with broccoli is great anywhere. This is the perfect pasta for a party because you can eat it hot or at room temperature. So it's so great because I can make it the same morning and then pack it up, take it to the beach, and it's still wonderful. I'm gonna start by cooking my farfalle. Now you can make this pasta dish really with any short pasta. See, they look like little bow ties. Now in Italian, farfalle actually means butterfly. So it kind of looks like a butterfly as well. So we're just using plain broccoli and I'm just gonna use the head for this. So just cut the stems off. So I'm just gonna add the florets to the pasta water. And they'll sort of flavor the pasta water too, which we'll use later on to make a sauce. And those only need a couple of minutes, so we'll leave those in there. Very nice. Because again, you're gonna finish cooking the broccoli as well in the saute pan. Usually I just use extra virgin olive oil, but today I'm gonna use extra virgin olive oil and some butter. And the reason I'm doing that is because there is no tomato sauce in this. And about four tablespoons of butter. And the combination of the butter and the olive oil is gonna create really nice, soft, rich sauce. I'm gonna get started on my garlic. We're gonna use about three cloves of garlic. Just add it to the hot oil and butter. Move it around just a minute. Immediately you can smell all that wonderful aroma of the garlic. And next we're gonna add the anchovies. I've got five fillets of anchovies. And anchovies are just these little fish and they have this wonderful, hearty, salty flavor. And that's what Italians use them for, as a base. Sort of be your little secret when you make this pasta. And you're just gonna add that in there. There we go. And it sort of starts to melt in the butter and the, um, the olive oil. It smells so good. Then, some red pepper flakes. Gotta give it a little kick, a little heat. So red pepper flakes and a little bit, a little bit more salt. Just like that. Now, let's take the broccoli out and add that in there. Take out all the broccoli, there we go. We'll give those a quick saute and we'll take the pasta out as well. See how beautiful and green that is? The broccoli start to absorb all of those flavors. Really yummy. So let's just add the pasta. Let me just taste it. Mm, perfect. A little tender, tiny bit of a bite. Take it out. Now we're gonna add a little bit of pasta water. And the pasta water will sort of loosen the sauce up a little bit, but also keep the pasta moist so it's nice and moist later on. Now, my favorite thing in the whole world, Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna add some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano right on top. And the cheese is a really important part of this pasta. It does add a lot of flavor. It starts to melt, oh, and it creates sort of a thick sauce. I'm gonna put it in my little travel container. I'm gonna transfer it in here. That way, pasta's done for our party. There we go, all the sauce and the anchovies. 